Welcome back to the 2011 Pro Circuit. Chris Bucky in the booth with Gandhi and Shockwave. We are in our second series of the event. Awesome, awesome comeback by Invictus. If you missed it, make sure you watch VOD as soon as it comes out because that is one of the best comebacks I've ever seen in Halo history. Props to Invictus. They are now up 2-0 to zero over status quo. SQ's back is against the wall, and now it's time to prove if they have it in them. We're going into game three. It's going to be neutral bomb on Zealot. So here we go, the players are getting started, and we're gonna start this game off with Watch from Invictus. You just saw him drop 15 kills in game two with five assists. The unsung hero, Watch, does it all for this squad, Scott, and we saw that at the 16 land. You can't say enough about the guy, and the thing is, is he said he's coming, he came from a team where he always got the sniper, but he realized how much talent Ninja had with it, and he was able to step down. Now that shows a lot of character right there alone, because if you are used to being the main slayer, you're used to all the glory. So when you take that step down, it's really hard to get used to, but he's made a great adjustment to that. And we really just saw a team effort out of Invictus in that last game, Chris. And it looks like they're off to a great start already. They had the bomb at the SQ base, and now they're controlling the power weapons here. Yeah, and exactly what we've talked about. Power weapons, power weapons, power weapons. I mean, these are what's going to help you win or lose the match. And right now, Invictus keeps getting almost every single one. But the main thing I keep seeing right now is SQ looks almost down on themselves. That last game was a huge blow to status quo's morale. Absolutely. Can they bounce back? We will have to find out. Flamesword, best leader in the game right now. Can he get his team behind him? There is a double. Didn't get it, it looked like. Single. Watch, only taking out one player. It looks like he should have had three there. And the bomb is armed here at the SQ base. Can they get in the defense? You see Ace moving up for it. Calm is watching it, though, and Swift Kill is in front of him. I think, once again, Invictus is going to get out to an early lead. There they go, 1-0 on the scoreboard. And notice how they're controlling the landings with the sniper. Calm picking up a headshot, got a body shot on Enable. Even though he's taken down, they still get the bomb plant, and that is huge, because that's what matters. And I love the way they keep setting up. Although they're getting the sniper on the platforms, the rest of Invictus knows that he's kind of the guy they need to have on the map and therefore protecting him each and every way and every single time. That that was basically a perfect setup by Invictus. Invictus, I wish I would have said it during the pregame, so I think they are going to go super far in this tournament. Top four potential, absolutely dominating every Bomb single time I've watched reset. them, including the Combines last season. These guys are the future of MLG, I think, and especially this ninja kid, natural talent, but you got to give credit to all four members of this squad. They look like the status quo of 2010. And every single player on their team has had their games where they have shined, and that's the most impressive thing. To see these young guns go on our Friday night kickoff and perform under this pressure, under this new main stage with all the seating, blows my mind. I don't even think they feel pressure right now. They are floored to be on the main stage, and they are just excited to show off for you, the fans out there. If there's not an Invictus fan page out on Facebook or on Twitter, I think someone needs to create it right now. But right now we're checking out Status Quo. They're not down and out yet, guys. They're making a, a strong push trying to get this capture. Huge play to try and get that bomb out. But it looks like Ace is going to stop him, and now he's arming the bomb. Status Quo is going to get the first bomb plant if they can lock down this gold position. Yeah, and that was a huge place by Ace right there. He went into the health pack, picked up a double kill, made another guy a one shot, and now they look like they have good control of Invictus' base for this flag. Calm was able to get in their takedown ace, but it wasn't before the triple kill from Enable. Status Quo is going to get three down and the bomb plant. Now that's going to allow them to bring in a second bomb to gold. And that's what Status Quo has been looking for. They want Enable to heat up because if Enable heats up, they can come back from a 2-0. When you have the components that Status Quo has, a 2-0 isn't really that big of a deal because as soon as they start clicking, they can easily win. And Victus doing their best to stay alive. It's Calm on one side of the map. Swift Kill is on the other. Watch and Ninja were out. 
Now Watch coming off the respawn. Calm being very aggressive though. He's gonna be cleaned up by Enable. And Bomb Enable really set. locking down gold here as he picks up the brand new sniper rifle. Yeah, and that's gonna be key. You've seen Invictus do it, you've seen Impact do it. Now it's Enable's turn, taking faces, no scoping. He's playing good right now. If status quo needs to get a, or wants to win this game, Enable's gonna need to step up right here now. And let's talk a little bit about the sniper here in Halo Reach, guys. What game is it closest to? Is it Halo 1, 2, 3? Hey, this is a new game, Chris, and you can't compare it to anything. Now, the importance of it, I would say it's as important as it is in Halo 2 and Halo 3, but the skill, it almost seems easier, but since the DMR reaches so far, it's almost like a Halo 1-type pressure because you never really get a clean shot because everyone's always looking at it. Yeah, I would compare it probably most to a Halo 2 sniper. Even though the Halo 2 sniper I think was easier to use because you could sweep it across the screen and get some crazy headshots, this is a little bit more precise, but if you're anywhere near the other person's head, you're hitting a headshot. We got Calm doing a nice push there from Red, trying to make his way to gold. Great grenade there. Haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say, that's a very interesting grenade. I'm going to use that when I play the MLG playlist when I get home. Bouncing off that left wall. There you see the double team on Flamesword. It seems like every chance we see a two-on-one here. And Vic is using superior teamwork against one of the best teamwork-oriented teams in the league, status quo. Yeah, and what's killing me is that status quo cannot seem to finish one-shots around the map. I keep watching that basically shoot guys all the way to one shot and have them run away. But the status quo squad doesn't seem in good enough spots to finish off those one shots. Now, Chris, when I was talking to Invictus, Swiftkill was very proud of the fact that all four of them are great spammers. Now, talk to me about spamming the DMR in this game. How important is it? Right now you're watching SQ get a plant here. But talk to me about the spam of the DMR in the new game. Well, with the new game, the DMR has a bloom, and when you shoot it fast, that bloom is going to go big. And when we talk about spam, we're talking about a person shooting the DMR as fast as possible. And what happens in that, your shots start to go random. But if you get good and can control that spam, you have an opportunity to shoot as fast as you can, get the fastest possible kill. Invictus using the spam so far to their advantage. It looks like Status Quo doesn't necessarily have the long range spam down, but I'm starting to see Enable zoom in for those big bloom shots. I think like he is starting to get it down, but I'd really love to see Ace and, and Flame Sword use it more often. I think a little bit more zooming could add to their game. Yeah, and that and long distance crouching. When you crouch long range, your shots are more precise. So when you're going to notice a lot of players be crouching down and shooting long range, that's because your bloom is more accurate when you are crouching and when you are zooming. So don't be surprised. It's not some player's new play style. It's just more beneficial for the guys to use. Once again, that's three down for status quo. The plant from Invictus was there. Looks like Calm, Ninja, and Swift all camping the SQ base here. Watch the only member down. Now Ninja goes down, but they get the bomb plant. Two to two, it's all tied up here. And status quo is in a bad spot because they're trapped under their base and Invictus has top control right now. And status quo's gotta get out of here. Yeah, instead of status quo trying to go for map control right there, they're almost like a mad dash running back into their base and allowing Invictus to completely control the map again. Swift dominating the red. Landing, it looks like the blue landing is under wow. Invictus control as well. Scott, what do we see here? Calm's got the bomb moving. I, I think as long as Swift Kill keeps going with this route where he goes the quick jump to pretty much back in their base to landing, then they're gonna take this with ease, Chris. I think they got this plant. Swift was going in there, gets the trade. That's gonna free up the plant from Calm, and here we go. Invictus with perfect execution. It was all started by Watch injuring the players. Swift Kill comes in, cleans up the double, trades for the third, and there you get the plant. Assault doing some nerdy names to take down Swift, but the bomb is still there, and there's the third detonation, and Victus back on top of the scoreboard. Well, exactly what you were talking about, and Victus getting the spam kills down. You saw it right there when he turned around. Ace had the first two shots. He turned around, spammed Ace, managed to get the melee kill, and I think that's what caused the, for, the, for the bomb plant. Ninja getting a little greedy there. Saw a player in front of him, still swapped out the weapons for the sniper pulling a Gandhi. <laughs> Ninja's gonna be taken down, but let's go check Wrong. out Assault. Take. He's got the bomb and he's got the grenade launcher. Wrong. Yeah, right now he's rocking around the map with every single power weapon. He needs Wrong. to do something Take. right now. These are the most important weapons on the map. If he Wrong. dies with them, the status quo is gonna be in trouble. Well, you know Take. what, guys? Status Wrong. quo. Wrong. They're down three to two in this game, only down one plant, Wrong. but they're down Take. two to zero in this series. 
I think this is do or die time for SQ, and I would love to listen in with the SQ squad to see what their communication is like. Are they uh, are they a little rattled? We'll find out. dominating the map. We talked about getting those landings, and that's the main thing. But right now, it looks like uh, we, we got Swiftkill leading the way for Calm, who's pushing into the base here. 
And Calm finally gonna be taken down. Remember, it's all tied up. There you go, Swift has the bomb. He's planning. He does not get the arm. Watts is taken down as well, so that's three down. Just when I thought Invictus was gonna cap it. Four go down for SQ. This one could go either way, guys. So tight in the second half of this game. What a great job right there. That push was all sparked by Swift Kill's huge play with the sniper right there. He picked up a double kill. Now, right now, Ninja's got the sniper underneath the base, but he's gotta get out of there with that. He needs to help his team as quickly as he can. And it seems like when we're listening, then that status quo hasn't lost their composure. They're still in the game. On the other side, Invictus has not missed a beat. They are keeping the pressure on this SQ squad. They're not letting up. Yeah, well, status quo, one of the reasons they're still composed is because of what they've been through. Runners up last year in national championships and Flame Sword, their leader. They know what it takes to win. They know they're going to have to keep their calm. And they know they're right in this game. And it almost seems like a role reversal here, Chris. I mean, at the beginning of the game, we watch Invictus dominate the sniper and power up. But now it's like status quo finally realize, hey, we got to pick this up if we want to win. And that's exactly what they're doing. We saw Ace go for the beat down there. He paid the price, letting Calm get the beat down. And then Calm got that finishing headshot. Meanwhile, the bomb is going to reset. All eight members <laughs> unable to get to the bomb. As we approach the 15 minute mark, remember it's all tied up, so we are going into sudden death overtime. The next plant will win this game. Ace position top, drops down for the double back smack, can't chase down either player. He's gonna have to be careful coming through that gold, and he's getting shut down. Great call out from Invictus. They have three members alive, and they are just waiting for Assault to turn that corner. Easy cleanup kill. It looks like Invictus has stronger teamwork towards the end of this game. SQ's gonna need a huge defensive stand. Only Ace and Flame Sword are alive. And here comes the overload of gold right there. As soon as Ace didn't get connect with either of those back wax, now Invictus has complete control of gold. And SQ, we have two members, or one member down right now, and no one seems to be in a position to take over top gold. Great quick scope from Watch taken down. Ace once again. You see Ninja was killed at the bomb. Watch all by himself top gold, but no problem. Great help from across the map from Calm. Watch cleaning up that kill. Looking there at the spawns, has two players in front of him. He's gonna have to drop down. And Naval trying to finish the kill. Watch is taken out. Swift still alive. He's the only member alive for Invictus here. In sudden death, SQ tries to step up last minute here, Chris. Yeah, and SQ's really playing great right now. They've actually been just holding Invictus off at their landing. And right now, finally running the bomb in, getting that map control, and getting Invictus down. Enable a slight fumble with the bomb. That three, that one second would have been huge. Does he get the arm? He does. Two down for Invictus. Kid Flamesword stops the double. No, the bomb's disarmed. Ninja gets it out. Huge play for Watts as well. There's the beatdown, and Watch is going to win the melee battle. The bomb was out. Incredible defensive stand from Watch and Ninja. That's a huge play, especially great communication right there because when you have two guys on the bomb, it disarms faster. That is a great heads up play, and that's what you're looking for. That's how you win series there. Ninja tosses the bomb through the red lip, engages Flamesword, getting help once again. Watch there to help him out. Great teamwork we've seen out of Ninja and Watch so far. That duo is working together perfectly. The bomb up there, Ninja with the power weapons to clear the way over on health pack side. Hits the body shot on Flamesword, going for the headshot. Nice grenades from Flamesword, stops the bomb. Calm going for the plant though from Invictus. This is just insane battling going on up here at the bases, Chris. I mean, it's just back and forth. You've got Status Quo running into Invictus' base, arming an Invictus doing a great return. Then you've got Invictus turning the tables on Status Quo, and Status Quo somehow defending the bomb. This is great, Halo. Here in Pool C, we have to say this is probably the best matchup we'll see all weekend. Status quo versus Invictus. I put it on the main stage for a reason. Did not think we'd be seeing a 2-0 lead from Invictus in the series. Status quo needs this next plant to stay alive in this pool play series. And the thing that's impressing me the most is no one player is really standing out for either team. Whoever the two players who are still alive, pick up those huge kills. It's incredible Halo being watched. I don't know if I can take this anymore. It's too much excitement. Ninja equals enable. Swift kill equals ace. Calm equals assault. And then you got watch the vocal leader for Invictus equals Flame Sword. I absolutely love this matchup. So tight. So far, Invictus able to come out on top through our first two games, but it could have gone either way in that game two. This is crucial, though. Status quo needs to get this final plant, and it seems like they've been rushing it, Chris. They really just need to take their time, get a setup, and execute. Yeah, and right now, it looks like Status quo is moving this bomb in, but unfortunately, they don't have the best map control. 
Crazy play by Flamesword right there, and I think they're going to get this off. And Mabel hitting the shot over Queen's shoulder. You see, that's Assault Queen putting in the bomb. Queen taking all kinds of fire, but he gets the bomb arm. It's up to Enable to protect it. He's the only one alive. Flamesword is trying to get to the top of the map as fast as they can. But watch, bomb the vocal disarmed. leader is going to get it out. That is the second huge defensive play we've seen out of Watch Scott. Yeah, and the thing is, is Watch did an excellent job because he knew Enable was going to keep that sniper out. No player in their right mind would not keep that sniper out because you're lining that shot up. And he was just able to use that to his advantage. Great heads up play by Watch. I can't believe he got that disarm. Yeah, it was the quick refire to knock him out of the scope. And then after he knew he had the advantage, he just forced Enable to back up. We got these defensive play here from Invictus, and now it looks like they're moving the bomb. It's in the hands of Calm. You got Alex that swift kill clearing the way once again inside the red base. And watch how watch look how watch is going to go to red landing right now. This looks like they're going to be able to. Uh, well, the bomb's thrown out, but. Right there, that's a perfect setup. As long as you can get control of that landing, you're good to go. Yeah, but that was an impressive play by Enable. He went bottom middle, knew Invictus was all going to the to his own bomb. base, watching his or teammate screen, got the evade, and came all the way around to stop the bomb. If you are just joining us, you are watching the Halo Reach stream from Dallas, Texas. It is two, it's two to zero, Invictus over status quo. We may see an upset here. SQ trying to stay alive as they're going for the fourth bomb plant. Remember, we are in sudden death overtime. The next plant will win. Three to three as you're watching Enable pick up that grenade launch, and this is going to be huge. But the rest of his teammates need to get in the position to help here. And Victus has too many members alive. Yeah, right now, Enable doing work with that grenade launcher. Bomb They're going to be porting this up to the landing and hoping that they can get control Bomb of the Invictus Bomb. base. Enable knows Watch has that sniper. Great flank using that lift to come behind him, but he didn't have his DMR out. Switched to the grenade launcher for some reason. Watch is able to stay alive. This is huge for Invictus. That was a terrible mistake. Enable unable to capitalize on the, on the opportunity he created. Nice long range grenade, so he's gonna make up for it with that assist on Ninja. Hey, that doesn't really make up for it though, Bucket. I mean, you let the sniper get away. You gotta be killing him. You can't, what are you doing keeping Bomb the grenade launcher out? Put that away and finish it with the DMR. Oh, and just as Swiftkill was moving in to help with another plant, the bomb reset. So the bomb bottom middle, watch still alive with that sniper that Enable tried to take out. And Victus is set up top red. Bomb taken. And there we got Ninja bomb. moving the bomb and all four members of Invictus alive. All three members of Status Quo spawn and low. Can Invictus get this bomb in? Hey, it looks like they're going to, Chris. And if you are just joining us from the Pro Circuit stream, <laughs> welcome to the Hill of Reach stream. We are seeing an awesome matchup, Status Quo and Invictus. Game number three, Status Quo we needs to get this next bomb plant. We're in sudden death overtime, but Invictus is playing super solid defense time and time again. Yeah, super solid defense actually from both teams right now. This is one of the most intense games of Halo I've seen. We're almost 25 minutes through this game, and at least 15 minutes of it, there hasn't been any arms. And bomb we have another set. player dropping down with no shield. Calm trying to stay alive. Top gold is going to be forced to retreat. Here in the cause, but couldn't find his opponent. Calm taken out. We're gonna switch our screen though. It looks like Flame Sword is doing big things for status quo, located top middle. And Flame getting aggressive here. He's chasing that for his kills now, Scott. And don't be surprised to see that right now it's do or die time. So it's pretty much all instinct. It's all your instinct acting. It's not so much thinking before you do, but that's what separates the winning teams from the losers. If you can think and still act on your instinct, then you're the winner. Flamesword with that enable, dodging both grenades. Ninja has no idea where he was. Flamesword couldn't reach top middle. Two of his teammates down, actually three teammates down. So great job by Flamesword. Smart play to stay alive. Wait for your help, then push out. He got some help, but wasn't able to stay alive as Watch cleans up the kill. Ninja has the grenade launcher. I just watched him hit two perfect shots. There's a double kill. Now going for his triple. Can he out the MR? Ninja, wow. he can't. There's the triple. That will clear the way for the bomb. Invictus trying to close it out. It's up to status quo on this next respawn. They need to get the bomb out of their base right now, or they will lose to Invictus 3-0 in this series. No one from status quo in position. Guys, I think we are watching the upset unfold. Congratulations to Invictus. They are fired up. 3-0 sweep over status quo, our number three seed. Wow, <laughs> absolutely huge game there, guys. We got to pull up the stats.
I think that was a 24 minute game right there. Yeah, that yeah. was really intense. I, it's rare when we see games go that long. Oh, and status quo, their heads are hung low. Let's go to watch his screen when we get a chance. 45 kills out of Calm. Ninja one-ups him with 46. 48 kills, though, out of watch. The vocal leader doing huge things there, going plus eight. We saw two amazing defenses by watching that game. Hats off to all four members of Invictus. They lived up to the form hype. Yeah, and you can't say enough about these guys. They just beat status quo. I mean, we predicted it, granted, but we were going against the Chris Curse, so it was kind of almost unfair. <laughs> yeah, I th we could... This was just not expected. I oh, mean, oh for two tonight, Chris. Yeah, exactly. I thought I had FB the clear cut favorite over Impact, and now SQ losing to Invictus. These new guys are really showing up this tournament. Wow, that was absolutely huge. Two series down. We have six series on the main stage that we're broadcasting for you guys tonight. So stay tuned. Coming up next, believe the hype and darkest hour. We'll see you after commercial break.